So now we should create another function and it's going to be set or another method and it's going to be um, one that says set trait and we're just going to no it's going to be one that gets the traits so no we're going to have a set trait so it's going to be void and we're going to set the robots traits and we're going to um so we're in it we're going to type an integer robot height we're going to make a processor integer robot speed and a bool robot is happy and we're just going to say that um, height equals robot height and um, processor speed equals robot speed and that um, is robot happy equals robot robot is happy and we're finished with that now we'll have a uh, one that pretty much just will return a value so how about get robot ID so it can't be changed but it can be get robot ID and it's going to return an integer since robot ID is an integer take no parameters and it's going to return our robot ID so you'll see exactly how we use this in a minute but here's the class so let's create a few robots so here we are in the main function and I'm going to create a robot and I'm going to name him crunchy and in parameters robot ID I'm going to set to 513 and robot password I'm going to set to sneaky1234 and going to copy all this in from here to here and you can put it in your own files if you want but I just want to be able to quickly reference it in the main function now there was something I wanted to do to change anything I want to get the robots password so we're all I'm pretty much going to do is I'm going to get the password um, this robot this robot password and it's going to be a string now Usually you need a method to compare to strings since a string is an object, not just a piece of data. So you have to so if you try to compare them the normal way, they'll it'll always be false because they're two different objects and you usually have to use methods, but this string one you can directly compare. So I'm going to create a conditional statement if um this pa robot's password equals robot robot password then do this else out access denied Okay, so back to the main function. 
So now, if I tried to access one of these variables, it wouldn't work. Watch. Robot dot robot id. See? It can't find it, even if I type it correctly. But if I try to access it, it'll say that or it still won't let me find it. Right, it'll say that it's private, so that won't work. However, I could, anytime I wanted to, access a public variable such as processor speed. See, so I could change processor speed that way by just robot.processor speed equals this way. However, I can't change it, the password, because it's private. So, F, so now I'm going to set some traits. And I'm going to say, um, so calling a method is pretty much just like accessing its data. So crunchy dot set traits. And it's going to want this robot's password. And I'm going to um, type in first 513. And I'm going to type the robot height. It's going to be 50 inches. The robot speed, it's going to be um, 3.5 gigahertz. And bool the robot's happy, and I'll say true. Now, let's see. Access denied. However, if I enter in the right one, like this, I get no access denied, and the action was completed successfully. The method just doesn't have to say anything. So the now I'm going to have it show its traits. Show traits and check it out. Processor speed three. This robot is happy one because it's true. And the the height is fifty. Okay, pretty good. Now if I wanted to um, get the robot ID, I'd create an integer and I'd make it ID, or I'll do it in capitals since the lowercase one is taken by a data type, equals crunchy dot get robot ID. And then I'm going to have it show ID and and the line. So, pretty much 513, and that, I believe, is the robot's ID. So, is there any other methods? There is not. So, now pretty much I can also access individual ones, like integer h equals um, crunchy dot height and I'm going to have it display h but so I get the robot height again or I can change the robot dot height if I just wanted to set it individually I'd say integer I'd say crunchy dot height equals um seventy and then I'd have it show the traits again. So first time it's fifty, second time it's seventy. So that's basically your tutorial on classes, and good luck.